This is a how-to video on how to either add or edit a new channel station. Uh, we are going to actually use a live project as an example. Let me bring this over. Currently, uh, we have a project going in the Seco River uh, community and it's actually uh, six townships that are sharing common resources and uh, using Castor to uh, do their business. So what we're going to do is create a channel for the town of Limerick. In your broadcast automation folder, if you come down to common, you will see a thing that says templates and you'll see standard station and in the future I may have other stations and there are additional things that you can do but I'm just going to do a control C I'm going to come back to broadcast automation control, control V as you can see lots of megabytes because there's JPEGs and all sorts of stuff in there A lot of times you'll see this OBS folder information, and this is how Caster actually just keeps track of things. Uh, you can just skip over them all. And I'm going to change this to capital T O W N of Limer Rick. I'm going to come down here to station ID. and the text file, I'm going to edit the text file station underscore ID. And I'm going to change it to Town of Limerick. Save. And uh, when requested in your videos that you want to show the ID, this will be what you show. Okay, uh, this is the station logo for, for my station, but you'll want to uh, get rid of it. So what we're going to do is find a logo that we can use for Limerick. And you can see that uh, Limerick main. Now as I, oops, as I go down through here, I'm actually looking for something that might make a great logo. So I'm going to click on that, right click, copy image, I'm going to come back here, I'm going to add the image, paste, and well, okay, I'll move that, did the wrong place. You want it in station ID. So this is going to be our new logo. So I'm just going to change this to station logo and get rid of this. Uh, the proper name is station space logo. And I'm going to change this to station space logo. That is your new logo. Um, a lot of times you might use an end graphic, and uh, you may not, but uh, you can either use the logo or some some picture of uh, something. So let's just find a pretty picture, and uh, we'll copy that. Copy this over here and we're going to replace station and graphic so station space and space graphic so we can get rid of this rename 
station space in space graphic. And you can edit this and, you know, put a uh, town of Limerick or, you know, some stuff over it or Caster can do it. It's, it's uh, no big deal. So, and you can change this. And so what we have is we've actually just, uh, for the town of Limerick, we have, let's see, details. We have a station ID. We have a station logo, and we have a station and graphic. Now, a lot of these other things that you see in here are bumpers that uh, you can create. So you can see that I have uh, bumpers that are 15 seconds, uh, uh, 10, whatever. So uh, you can use these at the start of your program, but of course, you need to use yours, not mine. So I'm not going to go into this too much because uh, really the only thing you need to know is station logo and graphic and station ID. Now what you'll also see is the second part of this and this is the station off the air program. Now when uh, you are using the player and you are playing something and it ends and there's some time in between the end of your current show and the start of your next show, uh, Caster allows you to run an off-the-air program. And this program is uh, uh, just the same as uh, you know your regular normal show programs, it's just that it's here and with this name. And if we go there you will see a number of, of different things. You'll, and the important things is uh, music and slideshow, at least for this version of it. So if we go to music, what you'll see is, um, well, a bunch of nothing. And you'll see these things saying Todd equals 0, 600, 1600, 2000. Well, what, what this is, it stands for time of day. So when um, the off the air program plays, it looks through these guys and finds the, cl the one that is closest to your uh, time of days. Uh, if it's, you know, 530, it'll be in, in between zero and 600. So what's in here? So music. So you'll see uh, music. Uh, And uh, you can leave it there. Uh, you can add your own. Uh, on my station, I have four or five or ten uh, different music things that it plays so that it, uh, uh, when it's going through its music background, it has different things. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, music. Uh, this one's just different. Okay, if you uh, don't want to bother with all these different ones, you can just get rid of these guys here and just leave the 0001 and put your stuff in there and it, it, you won't be bothered. So uh, let's, let's just get rid of this. So all you have is one now and this is all it'll play. The uh, second part of it is the um, slideshow. So this thing is set up to uh, play a bunch of music and do a bunch of slides. And you'll see that uh, I have the same TOD in there. And I have some crap here, so don't, don't pay attention to it. And you, you'll see that I have some pictures. This is Caesar's Palace. This is some horses. This is more Caesar's Palace, different pictures. So what I'm going to do is, uh, because I don't want Caesar's Palace, uh, I'm going to put in Limerick pictures. So we're going to come over here 
and I'm just going to delete those. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to pick pictures I like. So um, uh, you should pick pick pictures that are sort of similar outline, you know, sort of rectangular. Uh, you get some screwy results if you mix tall pictures with with uh, landscape, you know, portrait with landscape. So, uh, oh, here's a nice picture. Click on it. Copy image. Control V. Uh, come back here. Uh, I'll do this one. Right click, copy image, come over here, control V. You notice that it came up and said move and replace because this guy has the name image and this guy has the name image. And what you want to do is as move, move but keep both files. And you'll see that you have the image two and image, so no big deal. So I'll come back here and uh, Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. Copy image. Do the same thing. Copy image. This thing. Uh, Copy image. You want want more than this, you know. Twenty twenty is just peachy keen. So we filled this up, and uh, you know we still have the horses. We still have Caesar's Palace, and you can get rid of these. Use them. Uh, as you like. So now that we have, well, that's that's it. You know, we've replaced the uh, one. We replaced the station ID. We've changed it to Town of Limerick. We've changed the station logo, and we've changed the uh, end graphic. Then we've gone into the uh, the off-the-air program, and we've edited the music and the slideshow that goes there. Uh, obviously, uh, you can use the editor and, and change what you need, but this is uh, a basic to get you going type of thing. So we're all set. Well, let me get this out of the way. Let me get this out of the way. And you'll see that we're on my station. If I come here and you can see that obviously I've worked on this before and I have some data with with Limerick in it. So uh, don't be surprised. So if I come and play the episode. You'll see my ID and the and the name of the file. Okay, so let's do something. Let's change our town. Okay, I click on that. It brings this guy up. I'm going to now choose Town Limerick. Done. And if I play it now. What you'll see is the station ID is changed and the logo is changed. So here's going. Well. So Town of Limerick, this is changed. So, if you want to see the end, end graphic, there isn't any uh, in, in this. So. Uh, what this is playing is a video that is a town meeting. 
and uh, if we uh, want to play it uh, have nothing now so what I'll do is set to now I will uh, create five programs starting at 14 and, and I will add to the schedule and you'll see that it's added to the schedule. Now what you'll see here is that uh, these entries look a little different and if you come over to well let me get the Explorer again let's see um, I'm on the other screen right now so Okay, here's the town of Limerick. Here is OK to Stream. I'm sorry. Here is the archive. And did I do it right? Okay. Yes, I did. And you'll see that these guys here match these guys. And you'll notice that some of these things have a funny notation. It says bracket date equals, comma, title equals, close bracket. Uh, this one only has title equals, and this one has nothing. So what you'll see is these guys have the uh, the date and the, t the title, and these guys just have uh, what you see. So if I, let me turn this off. If I play it. If I run the station. See we're above 0600 oh, so it's playing the horses. So let me show you something. Let me show you something. If I play this, if, if I want to actually edit this thing, I would open from the scheduler, I'd open this guy right here. And uh, if I played it, you'll see it's just picking up information from what I just played. But watch this. If I go to, I'm sorry, if I go to, let's see, 3 o'clock and play it. You see now it's playing the, uh, the JPEGs from the uh, 0 to 600. So uh, running it from this guy, from the scheduler, uh, allows you to uh, actually test it for time and, and whatever if you feel that's important. Uh, basically, in the timeline editor, I'm, I'm just doing the f-block and I'm just playing the music and uh, the overlay does a bunch of stuff to, to make it happen. So play the thing. Play the thing. So uh, there you have it. That's how you add a station and edit it. 
uh, in review, you are editing the station name. You are uh, replacing the logo with something you like and then the end graphic. And then you're going over to the off the air program, uh, selecting your own music that you want and also the uh, graphics that you want. And these are, you were able to use the TOD type files to uh, change the graphics during the day. So you get a variety of, of different uh, things. And you can add more TODs. And you saw how, how it's uh, uh, made. It's TOD equals oh, 1,100, you know. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Uh, that's how you uh, create and or edit a uh, current channel. And uh, you can, let me get rid of this. Obviously, you can come up here and take the town of Limerick, copy it someplace, change it to Hollis, and uh, just change the station name and end graphic and logo and leave the, uh, uh, the off-the-air program the same. Or use your own, use your own judgment. So, uh, I could come and again go to common templates and then copy the standard station over to so I would control C it come over here control V copy the standard station Rename Town of Hollis or my retro TV station. Anything you want. Um, you know, obviously the JPEG should, you know, sort of match the theme of the of the TV station or town of Hollis. Okay, you will notice that I can come over here and and now pick town of Hollis. And since I haven't really changed anything, it should look like my DCCA TV station. Uh, when you do it this way, when you click on this, it assumes that all these guys haven't changed, that you're still talking to the same instance of OBS. Uh, but if you uh, uh, are on a different drive and your show drive and recording drive Show drive is where, where your, uh, all your video content is. Uh, if these are different, uh, one of the things that you want to do is, well, you want to save this as default so that when it comes up, it runs this. Uh, also, you can do a save as. And you can uh, save this configuration. And you can see I already have some, some here. so. Uh, I won't save it. So what if I load in Town of Hollis? You can see that originally it was on the C drive, uh, where I just made this example was just the G drive. So you can save these things with different port numbers and pass password, etc. And uh, uh, there are some command line arguments that will allow you to pick what you want. So um, let's see, same computer. I want G, same computer, and uh, I could run it from there, and then I can go back and, and save 
save this, save as. It makes you save as to make sure that you just don't overwrite something and just screw it up. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. And that is the end. As a afterthought, I wanted to uh, warn you against using copyrighted material. It's uh, better if you go to a royalty-free uh, site, uh, do your own pictures, uh, make sure that anything you get off the internet is uh, not copyrighted. Um, there's a lot of reasons, and, and some of it is just, you know, <laughs> you're going to get yourself into trouble. And especially on places like YouTube, uh, you can upload videos with copyrighted material. Uh, and YouTube will flag it as uh, copyrighted and then pay the owners royalties. No big deal, you're safe. Uh, uh, but if you're streaming it, YouTube does not do that. If it finds that you're doing a track, and uh, normally it will warn you uh, uh, on your OBS uh, uh, form that you are doing copyright and to stop and it gives you time but if you were doing it 24 7 you are not monitoring that and if you let it go too long uh, they will uh, shut down your channel so uh, word of word of warning when you're streaming 24 7 to places like YouTube do not uh, use copyrighted material that's it have a good day